Hi there, this is uh, Srikant Dasari. So in this lesson, we are going to study about uh, the basic data type, which is uh, float, uh, which is used to store uh, floating point uh, values. Okay, so let us launch the IDE. So let us quickly create a new project here and let us name it as uh, real data types. Okay. So create a new C file here, add new item, real types dot C and quickly add some couple of error types here. Studio storage. Okay, <clears throat> so declare uh, to declare a floating point uh, uh, data type, we need to use the keyword float followed by a variable name. So you can name uh, something like a pi. Okay, so always uh, uh, the floating point, uh, mostly the floating point values would be something uh, like this. If you want to assign uh, this pi variable here. So value of pi would be 3.14. Okay. The floating point value, the floating point constant has a integer followed by a decimal or fraction value followed by a fraction part integer part followed by a fraction part that means integer followed by a fraction okay so this is the integer part of the floating point value and this is the fraction part both are separated by the dot okay so if you want to uh, display this uh, floating point value you can use a percentage f as a format specifier as you have seen in the previous videos, um, we have used the percentage of, okay. So we can have a message also, the value of pi is equal to percent f, pi like this. So let us add the get ch here to make the output constant and run the program. So if you see here, we have initialized uh, the pi as 3.14. But uh, you might wonder how these uh, zeros are coming here. So these zeros were added because the default uh, precision for both float and double uh, in C is 6. Okay. So even though uh, you don't explicitly uh, complete the precision, the precision is the one which uh, the number of digits that were allowed after the decimal point. Okay that were uh, taken as default is, is 6 in uh, both float and double okay so you can control the precision by using the dot and uh, the value of the precision here so if you say dot 2f and save and run your program here now you might get the exact value of the one you have uh, assigned in the pi variable okay so in this way you can control the precision Float occupies four bytes. Float occupies four bytes of uh, size on all 30, 16 bit and uh, 32 bit machines. Okay, the float uh, is universally four bytes in size. So you can uh, quickly use uh, the size of operator and uh, know the size of the float here. The size of float in bytes percentage t size of float. Okay. So save and run the program. You get 4. 
okay so the maximum and uh, minimum value that uh, you can store in a floating point uh, data type were given by two macros called uh, float min and uh, float max which were defined in the header file floats.h okay previously in the when you are studying integers we have used uh, limits .h okay but this float uh, the floating point uh, maximum and minimum values i mean the macros were stored in the header file float.h okay so you have to whenever you are using uh, those macros you need to add the header file float.h to your uh, program so let us uh, print the range of the float print it slash and slash t the range of float is percentage f to percentage f flt min comma flt max so these uh, two macros will fetch you the minimum and uh, maximum of uh, floating point uh, data type in c so in order to uh, as we have learned that in order to control our pressure we have used uh, this the point uh, dot in that pressure value here so let us repeat uh, the same thing here to control our question and uh, and in, and in addition to that I'm a, I'm also adding an exponential form here okay the exponential form will display the result in to the power of 10 okay that means uh, if you save and run the program when you see the output here so this is the range of the float given in the exponential form so here the e represents 10 to the power of minus 38 to 3.40 into 10 to the power of positive 38 okay so range of the float uh, falls between uh, these huge values from uh, negative to positive to the power so which was represented in the exponential form so you can take this value as 1.18 into 10 to the power of minus 38 to 3.40 into 10 to the power of 38 positive 38 okay so that's all about uh, our study of uh, float so in the next lesson we will continue our uh, study about the another basic data type which is double so see you in the next lesson bye bye